MV Asterix is the Royal Canadian Navy's newest supply ship. It is also the vessel at the center of the federal government's legal case against Vice Admiral Mark Norman, the former head of the Royal Canadian Navy. Davies Shipyards was selected by the previous Conservative government for a sole source deal to convert Asterix, a commercial vessel, into a naval supply ship. That was done after the military's two existing supply vessels were taken out of service because of damage and age. The current Liberal government tried unsuccessfully to delay the project. Davy delivered Asterix to the government on time and on budget in a deal worth $659 million. The Canadian government is leasing Asterix with its civilian crew of 35. Asterix provides food, fuel, ammunition, water and other supplies to Canadian and Allied warships while at sea. The Royal Canadian Navy provides as many as 50 personnel to do the actual at-sea refueling and resupply of its warships, while Asterix civilian crew is responsible for operating the vessel. Each crew member on Asterix has their own cabin, and the ship is very spacious by naval standards. The ship is outfitted with a hospital and a medical ward. There's also space inside the ship to carry military vehicles. It can carry sea containers full of equipment for humanitarian missions and, if necessary, has room for up to 350 survivors or evacuees. Asterix has two aircraft hangars for the RCAF's new Cyclone Maritime helicopters. However, the hangars are big enough to house the Air Force's Chinook helicopters. Asterix supported Royal Canadian Navy and Allied ships in the summer of 2018 during a major exercise in the Pacific. It then joined HMCS Calgary for another mission in the Pacific, returning to CFB Esquimalt on Vancouver Island on December 18, 2018. Asterix will be used to support other Canadian Navy operations throughout 2019. Davy is offering a second supply ship at $500 million, but that has been rejected by the Liberal government.